One metre and 92 is the automatic qualifying to get to this final here this evening. And that was achieved by all the athletes lining up on the first bend here at the Bird's Nest Stadium. You can see the world lead there, Anna Chicharova of Russia, two metres and three centimetres. Four medals from world championships she has, a gold, a couple of silvers and a bronze. But she will have a challenge from Blanka Vlasic, maybe Anna Simic. So have a couple of athletes from St. Lucia in this final as well. And also the familiar names there of Ruth Beitia, Maria Kushina, and Camilla Likwinko of Poland. Three athletes in the world have been over two meters this season, Chitarova, Beitia, and Kushina, all in this final. Really is eagerly anticipated with the return of Blanca Lavasic. She just brings so much color and excitement to what is already a super event. And there she is in the center of your screen, making her way over to be introduced to the near capacity crowd here in the Bird's Nest Stadium. That, I can assure you, means women's high jump final. So first in the jumping order, dependent on when she enters the competition, Eleanor Patterson from Australia, the 19-year-old, followed her compatriot Brandon Stark, who will appear in the men's high jump final, the Commonwealth Games champion last year. From Germany, Marie Lawrence Jungflisch, Five times the German champion, over a height of one metre and 96 this season. Anna Simic of Croatia. She won European bronze last year in Switzerland. The first of the two athletes from St. Lucia. Laverne Spencer, the new Pan American Games champion, twice a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. 11th a couple of years ago in the World Championships in Moscow. Anna Chicharova of Russia, the Olympic champion in London. So after a bronze medal here in the Bird's Nest in 2008, at her best, two meters and seven, third on the world all-time list. Mirella Demireva of Bulgaria, a world junior silver medalist back in 2008. 194 this season. Blanka Vlasic of Croatia. A world champion in 2007 and in 2009. An Olympic silver here in 2008. Svetlana Radzivil of Uzbekistan, twice the Asian Games champion. 194 this season. Janelle Shepard from St. Lucia, the US Collegiate Champion this year, a student of mathematics and Spanish at the University of Southern California. And the nice smile and wave of Ruth Beitia of Spain. Equal bronze in Moscow two years ago. Two meters this season. Doreen Amata of Nigeria, their national record holder at one meter and 94. And here's a threat for the title, the equal world number two this year with Beitia, Maria Kushina of Russia, the European indoor champion this year and over that magical two meter barrier last year and this season too. And completing the lineup, Kamila Likwinko of Poland. 1 meters and 98, the world number four this year. So it really is a tasty lineup in this women's high jump final. It's 
Beitia and Vlasic, seventh World Championship final, equaling the event record of Amy Acuff from America. We have no US representation in this final. Sean Taylor went out in qualifying. One meter and 88 is what we believe the opening height to be. So, strategic moves. All the mathematical connotations always seem to come into play when it comes to high jump finals. But Elena Patterson of Australia opens the competition. Well, it's a first failure for the Australian. The third time an Australian's been in a World Championship final. Vanessa Brown previously, then married and came back and competed as Vanessa Ward. So a big moment for Eleanor Patterson of Australia. She'll come back for a second attempt at 1 meter and 88. Jungfleisch of Germany then, her first attempt at this high jump final. Oh, yes. Oh, the crowd in for a little bit of a treat for a while. The women's high jump final with Young Fleisch going clear at one end. The decathletes throwing their javelin at the other. That was nice by the German. Early clearances may be vital, as I say, as the competition goes on. So a good start for the German. Anna Simic of Croatia. In the final, along with her teammate Blanka Vlasic, opening her account, 188. Oh, yes, the crowd at the moment. Ooh, and ah, such is the clearance by these athletes in these early stages. And nice and easy by Simic. Just under two meters at a best. She went over a height of one meter and 99 last season. So as expected, a first time clearance at one meter and 88. Laverne Spencer from St. Lucia. Well, a first time failure for Spencer. Been very busy on the circuit leading into these world championships. Competed in Doha, Kingston, in America as well but she'll have another attempt at the opening height of 1 meter and 88. And here comes Anna Chicharova of Russia. The rivalry she's had with Blanka Vlasic over the year have been absolute classics. We're hoping for another one tonight, but here we go. First attempt of the evening. Oh, crumbs. Nice and easy. Two meters and three centimeters this season. Had some time off for the birth of her children, but always comes back in wonderful form. Well, she's asking a coach for the directions. It's good to see at the moment. We understand that all the athletes entering at one meter and 88. Understandable. So Demireva of Bulgaria then. Her first attempt to the competition. And a first time clearance for the 25 year old. So we're whipping through the early attempts at the first height of one meter and 88. And it will be the Croatian Blanka Vlasic that is next. Underwent surgery in January 2012 on her left heel. The recovery was prolonged because of a bacterial infection, but returned in 2013. The long loping stride. Oh, very comfortable indeed. Second on the world all-time list with two meters and eight back in 2009. That world record of Stefka Kostadinova of Bulgaria now. 
two meters and nine, stood since 1987. Radzibil of Uzbekistan. Well, just a slight little rattle. But a first time clearance. The next tight after this one for the athletes to attempt. Of course, after those that may need a second or third attempt, will be one meter and 92. So going straight in as you'd expect in a world championship final. Into some serious heights. And Janelle Shepper then of St. Lucia. Oh yes, a slight wobble, nothing to worry about. So her teammate Spencer will have a second attempt at this opening height. But Shepard, the 20 year old, will continue on to the next height of one meter and 92. So just four athletes left to open at this height. With Ruth Beitia of Spain. The familiar lean, <laughs> the familiar clearance. She planned to retire at the end of August in 2012, and she did for a couple of months, but then she couldn't help herself. She changed her mind. She's come back since and won many major championship medals since. And it's good to see that the experience is still there. She's over two meters this season. Doreen Amata of Nigeria, their national record holder. Well, a more direct approach to the bar, a little bit more attack. But she'll have to come back. A little bit of support there on the right knee. And really does travel across the bar rather than over it. Maria Kashina of Russia then, the new European indoor champion tied with Beitia on the world rankings this year with that two meter clearance. Oh, very nice. Not the longest of run-ups. But a good clearance. Russia just two medals in these world championships so far. A silver and that gold by Shabenkov in the hurdles. We've got none from the women yet, though. Maybe Kushina can readdress that balance and get things moving for them. Camilla Litwinko then of Poland. Her first attempt at 1 meter and 88. It was in good form in the Birmingham Diamond League on the IAAF Diamond League circuit. She had a win there. And that's nice and easy. Winko there going over one meter and 88 means there'll be just three athletes who'll have to come back and have their second attempt at it. Patterson, Spencer, Amata. So Patterson, her second attempt then at one meter and 88. Well, that's better. She's to give it a little bit of a wobble, but it stayed on and she'll stay in this World Championship final. She won't need the third effort. Lots of wins that you'd expect down under on the Gold Coast, on the Sunshine Coast in Brisbane. And the Commonwealth champion still just 19, learning all the time. So lots of rhythmical clapping as the men's javelin decathlon continues. But Laverne Spencer, eyes only on the prize, trying to get over the opening height of one meter and 88. Second attempt. Well, very similar to Patterson in terms of the slight wobble of the bar. Took the bronze medal in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland last year, as she did in 2010. Which means Doreen Amata then of Nigeria up for her second attempt. 
Everybody so far clear in this women's high jump final of the opening height. And it's a full house. <laughs> so three athletes taking two attempts, but all 13 athletes in this final over the opening height of one meter and 88. And shortly, the officials will usher in and raise the bar to one meter and 92. Remember in the men's high jump qualifying, a couple of chairs had to come out for the officials to make sure it was measured accurately. And the bar goes up, of course, into the 220s and 230s. And already poised and waiting for the officials to move will be Eleanor Patterson of Australia then. The first athlete to attempt the next height of one meter and 92. The big red cone is in place and will be removed when the officials are satisfied. But it's completely accurate. So we've not really seen much in terms of form coming into this final outside of the qualifying from the big guns. You really do wonder what heights are going to take the medals here in the bird's nest. Anna Chicharova deciding to pass at this height of 192. So Elena Patterson from Australia then. Goes through the jump in her mind. It's well within her compass, of course. She's gone over one meter and 96 this season to equal her lifetime best. Over first time of asking then. That little wobble was there as it was at 188. But a first time clearance for the young Australian. Young Fleisch of Germany then. Germany won gold in this event way back in 1991 with Heike Henkel. And they have a history. It will be a big ask for the young German, her first attempt. But nicely done. The confidence boost that the athletes get in early stages of vertical jump finals and, of course, in horizontal jumps is a big one. You come in, you're feeling good, you get early clearances. Simic of Croatia. Her first attempt at 192. Oh no, the long loping strides for the Croatian. Not bearing fruit. Nowhere near on that one. She'll come back for a second attempt. Didn't qualify for the World Championship final in Moscow a couple of years ago or for the world indoors last year. We know she has big jumps in her with a PR of one meter and 99. So Laverne Spencer then her first attempt at one meter and 92. Well, Spencer also, just as she did at one meter and 88, she's gonna have to come back for a second attempt. Remember all the athletes in this final cleared the height of one meter and 92 to make it to the final. Oh, she doesn't look very happy, does she? So she follows Simic in needing two attempts, potentially at this height of 192. Demireva then of Bulgaria. Nope, she brushes it off. She looks down at the ground when she runs in and only at the last minute does she look up for the bar. But the Bulgarian is going to have to come back for her second attempt. 
194 this season. So you're getting close to a season's best for the Bulgarian. But Blanka Vlasic not following Chitarova, who's passed at this height. Coming in for her first attempt then at 1 metre and 92. That was a little bit untidy by Vlasic, considering the grace, elegance and size of the clearance of the height before at 1 metre and 88. So maybe there's a few reasons we don't know about in terms of not being clever and strategical and getting the jumps in. You see the tape there on the bottom back of the right leg of Vlasic. We talked about the injury problem she's had. But they were on the other side, on the left heel. Radzivil then of Uzbekistan, her first attempt at 1 meter and 92. Well, the last three athletes have taken down their first attempt at this height. She made the top eight in London at those 2012 Olympics where she finished seventh. So Shepa of St. Lucia then. Second youngest in this women's high jump final behind Patterson of Australia. 20 years old looking for a first time clearance at one meter and 92. Well, she's over. Oh, steady to the bar, she says, steady. A little bit shorter than some of the women in this World Championship final, but generates the speed. Well, and Sheffer over one metre and 92. She was born in Jamaica, but she's lived all over the place due to her father's work. But she goes over. Now, the Ruth Betia of Spain. First attempt. Well, the familiar lean, I've mentioned it. The technique is always been the same from Betia. And over one metre and 92. Of course, we would expect with a season's best of two metres, but it is a final, but she's so experienced. So Amata then of Nigeria. Took a couple of goes to get over the 188 opening height. And she's going to have to come back and take a second attempt at 192 as well. Twice the African Games champion. She's gone over one meter and 94 this season. So Kashina of Russia. The co-holder of the world indoor title last year. She shared that with Camilla Likwinko of Poland. Her first attempt then at 1 meter and 92. Oh, yes. Well, she gives herself a little shake of the head. She's obviously got a few issues that she's not happy with, but importantly, she's going over these early heights at the first time of asking the Russian. Likwinko of Poland, her first attack at 1 meter and 92. Oh yes, 
following the athlete. She shared that world indoor title with last year, Kashina. Going over. So over the 188 opening height, we had three athletes that came back for a second attempt. There's a few more now at 192. Six in total will have to come back and have a second attempt at this height. And Anna Simic of Croatia will be the first athlete to come for her second attempt. No. She becomes the first athlete tonight in this final to take a height down twice. She gives herself a little shake of the head. She'll have one more attempt to stay in this final. But Spencer now of St. Lucia, 31 years old now. Her list of major championships, as you would expect, is pretty long. And she's got a draw on that experience to try and get over this height of one meter and 92 at the second time of asking. No, it's going to be a third and final attempt at this height for Spencer. Like Simic, taking the bar down for the second time at this height at 1 meter and 92. So, um, a matter... from Nigeria is prowling. See Blanka Vlasic there. The long legs in the background, but it will be Demireva as the other finalists prowl around. that will be up next. To take her second attempt at one meter and 92. It's the quiet before the storm in this women's high jump final. It's going to start bubbling up once you get to the heights of 95, 97, 199. And these athletes are going to be wanting to be in the mix when the bar goes up. So Demereva then of Bulgaria, her second attempt at 1 meter and 92. No, nowhere near. I'm sure she's grown up looking at tapes and footage of that world record by her compatriot set three years before this athlete was born but she's going to have to come back for a third and final attempt and Blanka Vlasic an untidy first attempt at 192 let's see if those issues have been rectified and if they have she will not want that first time failure at 192 to potentially come back and bite her later in this competition. We've seen it happen so many times, earlier failures costing medals. But here she goes, a second attempt at 192. Oh, well, there you go. Well, she smiles and kisses the sends kisses to the crowd, but that little X at 192. We will see if that will have an effect later in the competition. But wonderful to see the Croatian back. Radzivil of Uzbekistan then looking to follow Blanka Vlasic. Her second attempt at 1 meter and 92. Oof. Well, she's having a word with herself there. Mm -hmm. 
Amata then of Nigeria will close out the athletes who are having to come back for a second attempt at one meter and 92, asking the crowd who always oblige. She wants the support and the encouragement. No, very flat indeed. So she's just boarded the bus, which contained the athletes who will have to take their third and final attempt at this height. Simic, Spencer, Demi Reva, Radzivil, and now Amata will all come back at one meter and 92. So the Croatian Six at the Birmingham Diamond League, fifth in Rome, fourth in Doha on the Diamond League circuit. And when your best is one meter and 99, which you set last season, season's best of 194. So we're getting close to what she's done this season, but this is a final attempt to stay in the competition. <laughs> Well, she puts her head in her hands. Never even happened. The run through and underneath, three no jumps. Anna Simic of Croatia is the first athlete to be eliminated from this women's high jump final. Laverne Spencer of St. Lucia. Her final attempt at one meter and 92. And it's not to be for the athlete from St. Lucia. I mentioned two in the final and the first one has gone. And the 31 year old, well, she went over one meter and 88, the opening height on her second attempt. But 192 was just a bit too much to ask from the experienced athlete from St. Lucia tonight. She exits the women's high jump competition. And two more athletes will come up for their third and final attempt. Demireva of Bulgaria. Another athlete with a season's best of 194. No. And these third time failures by all those three athletes so far haven't even been close to staying in. So in the space of a four to five minutes, we've lost three now from this women's high jump final, which means Svetlana Radzivil of Uzbekistan will be aiming not to be on that list. Two athletes before her had the same season's best of one meter and 94. And their high jump final here in Beijing is over. So a third and final effort then. For Radzivil. Oh, well, she was the closest of those that have gone before her. But she too exits this women's high jump competition. So, the only athlete remaining to come up then for their third and final attempt at this one meter and 92 height, Doreen Amata of Nigeria. One of the longest run-ups, she's starting in lane number eight. Backs up into lane number, number nine. looking to brace that to break that 194 season's best curse that's what she has she's gone over it this height this season but no so Doreen Amata of Nigeria their national record holder their Nigerian champion this year also goes out at the height of one meter and 92 
So from one height to the next, we lost five athletes at that height. So 13 is down to eight in this women's high jump final. And the bar will be raised to the new height of one meter and 95 centimeters. So it will be Elena Patterson of Australia then. The first attempt at the new height of one meter and 95. With losing those athletes, she's currently in sixth position already in this women's high jump final. She's bettered any other Australian previous to her. I mentioned Vanessa Brown back in 1983. She was ninth, married, then came back as Vanessa Ward, who finished 10th in 1991. So whatever happens, Patterson has already become the most successful high jumper from Australia in World Championship history. But the 19-year-old is looking to go over this height of one meter and 95. One centimeter shy of her lifetime best. Good jumping by the youngster. Won the world youth title just two years ago. And then of course that glorious gold at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in Scotland last year. She had a shaky start because she opened the competition at one meter and 88 with a no jump. But then over the height of one meter and 92 at the first time of asking. So the casual stroll in that she does. First attempt then at one meter and 95. Whoa. She's unlucky because the high point in terms of the hips and the bottom was over. Getting nearer the lifetime best of the youngster. One meter and 96, as I mentioned. So she'll come back for a second attempt at 195. So a young flash of Germany. Prepares herself for her first attempt then at one meter and 95. 188, 192, first time. Like Patterson, has a lifetime best of 196. So we're getting close to their lifetime best performances. That was lovely. Oh, yes. She has a personal best from last year of 197. That would have been way over it. So good jumping by the German. I mentioned the history for the Germans in this event, the likes of Henkel leading the way in years gone by. But that was very good by the German and continues her perfect record this evening. Gives herself a little smile as well. So Anna Chicharova passing at one meter and 92. Her second jump of the evening Oh, it's just so smooth. It always is. Wonderful clearance. Third on the all-time list, as I mentioned, at two meters and seven. But the two jumps she's taken, she has the two clearances. And Vlasic now, with that unusual failure, which may come back to haunt her. She won't want any more blips on the scorecard. Her first attempt at one meter and 95. Coached by her father, Josh Joe. He was a two meter three high jumper himself. Looking on. First attempt, 195. Oh, yes. Love the attitude. Love the determination to get back from those injuries. 
And a first time clearance following Chicharova over 1 meter and 95. She's gone over 197 this season, and that was a good clearance. So she's, as we know, in good shape, the Croatian. Shepard from St. Lucia. She's seen her teammate Laverne Spencer go out of this high jump competition. Equal fourth at the Commonwealth Games last year. Just one centimetre shy of a lifetime best. And no. She'll come back for her second attempt at this height of one metre and 95. Ruth Betia of Spain. Her first attempt then at one meter and 95. She's gone over two meters this season. And Betia, her first failure of the competition. All the athletes looking up at the scoreboards because they give instant replays of the jumps. So technically gives them some information. But she will make the adjustments, being the equal world number two this year. With this lady, Kushina, her first attempt then at one meter and 95. Her third jump of the evening, She's gone over the opening two heights with ease on the first attempt. Oh, gosh. The speed and the flick up of the heels to make certain of a super clearance. Gosh, that was impressive from the Russian. Still just 22, but he's building up a wonderful CV in high jumping terms. Was voted the female athlete of the year in Russia last year. So Likwinko of Poland. First attempt at 195. Oh yes. Oh, these long socks to the knees are all the rage by the look of it. Matching obviously the national kit of the countries. And Likwinko. And the Red Sox of Poland, over one meter and 95 to continue her clear scorecard, just like Kushina and Chicharova and Young Fleisch. They're the athletes who have a clear scorecard so far in this women's high jump final. Women's high jump final continues. One meter and 97, Blanka Vlasic. Oh, that's nice. Yes, must be such a great feeling for her to be back. Not for the other high jumpers probably, but for Blanka Vlasic, a first time clearance. A one meter and 97. The only glitch is that first time failure at one meter and 92. It's hotting up. And Ruth Betia of Spain. Took two attempts to get over 195. How crucial will that be? And she attempts now at one meter and 97. Oh yes, a little knock on the way over, but normal service resumed. We've got six athletes left in this competition. We lost five at one meter and 92. Two more athletes went, Pettersson and Shepard at 195. And six are left in at the height of one meter and 97. Wonderful clearances. And this is Kushina at this height of one meter and 97. All the athletes under pressure to get these clearances in the bag. And Kushina has so far 
got a perfect scorecard. So the Russian over one meter and 97. As cool as a cucumber, isn't she? The Russian athlete. Keeping all the emotion in check. Four jumps, four clearances. It's what we expected in this women's high jump final. Likwinko comes in. We're down to the business end, as we say, in sport. Oh, that's a good clearance by the Polish athlete. I said there were six left in at 197. And these clearances now, and that one by Likwinko. All these athletes arriving in super shape, as you'd expect at a World Championship final. One meter and 99. That was a super clearance. It puts her in joint first position. Second attempt at 199 for Young Fleisch of Germany. She failed on her first attempt at 197, passed to this height of 199. Failed at the first time of asking, can the Germans set a lifetime best? Oh yes, and a good lifetime best as well from the German. That keeps her in contention. Two centimeters over the best that she's ever jumped in her life. She used the strategy wisely, failing at 197, then passing until the, heart, the bar went up to 199. So, Young Fleisch over at one meter and 99. A personal best performance. The big guns stay in the mix. Vlasic, two meters and one, six athletes still in. Kushina and Likwinko sharing the gold at the moment. This would be remarkable as a comeback for Vlasic. Oh, and she's clear. She's put herself in pole position. Blanka Vlasic over two meters and one. No one else has done it yet. The Croatian goes into gold. A couple of centimeters to spare. How will Kashina and Likwinko respond to that? A wonderful jump by the Croatian, a season's best in pole position. Kashina of Russia. This would be a lifetime best for the Russian. She's seen Vlasic go clear. Oh, yes. It's changing all of the time. Kashina goes into the gold medal position. She has a clear scorecard throughout the evening. A lifetime best performance. She takes the lead away from Blanka Vlasic. She goes into silver. Likwinko of Poland down into the bronze medal at the moment. But that was a wonderful clearance and a lifetime best by the Russian. She goes into gold. What a great, great clearance by Chicharova. A second time of asking at two meters and one. She's kept herself in the hunt. She's in the bronze medal position. Kochina is in gold. Vlasic is in silver. And now Chicharova, the third athlete in this final to go over two meters and one. The world rankings are being ripped apart here. The Russian is now also over two meters and one. But the high jump, what a fantastic competition it is, Catherine. Indeed, Young Fleisch of Germany to stay in the competition. No, a little bit too much for the German athlete, but she's had a wonderful time here this evening, a second time over one meter and 99. So she'll finish out of the medals. But that was a lifetime best performance, a personal best at 199. Ruth Betia of Spain, her third and final attempt at two meters and one. Can the experienced Spaniard stay in the competition? No, it's not to be for the 36 year old. She'll go out of this women's high jump over one meter and 99 at the first time of asking, but two meters and one too much for this evening. 
But I say those world rankings, only three women in the world this year arrived in Beijing having gone over two metres. And nearly double that, attempting two metres and one. Likwinko then of Poland, a clear scorecard all the way up to this height of two metres and one. Her final attempt to stay in a hunt for the medals. No. So another athlete exits at two metres and one. It would have been a lifetime best performance for the Polish athlete. So no disgrace at all in her competition here tonight at the Bird's Nest Stadium. But that means we're left with three athletes. The next height will be two metres and three. Chicharova, Vlasic and Kuchina. Litwinko confirmed in fourth, two metres and three centimetres. The second attempt of Anna Chicharova. We have our three medalists, we just do not know where they are going. Kachina has a clear scorecard up to two metres and one. She's in the gold medal position. Chicharova then. No. Another failure at two metres and three. She'll have one more attempt. She's in the bronze medal position. Blankla Vlasic, also still in, as I mentioned, at two metres and three. The familiar names battling it out in this women's high jump final. So she has a bronze medal, which means she has five medals in total from the World Championships, but we don't know which one Chicharova's going to get. Blanka Vlasic. Talk about coming back into world class with a bang. Two meters and three centimeters, her second attempt. She's in the silver medal position. She has the stadium to herself in terms of this female field event final. No. She's waiting for the quiet. Now she wants the crowd to start. You do it to the rhythm that Blanka Vlasic would like. She stands, she concentrates. Gold, silver and bronze in this women's high jump. Being battled out at a height of two meters and three. Here she goes, she's ready. No. She's annoyed with herself. She will have a further attempt in this women's high jump final. Anna Chicharova currently in the bronze medal position. She took two attempts to get over two meters and one. Vlasic in the silver medal position has one more attempt at two meters and three. And Maria Kushina comes in at two meters and three for her second attempt. She's in the gold medal position, the personal best at two meters and one, and the clear scorecard has the Russian in pole position in this women's high jump final. She concentrates. She has the noise of the male discus finalist next to her, but in she runs. Oh, gosh, that was close, and she knows it. She clips off the bar, so all three of our medalists have two failures at two metres and three. Who will break away? Well, you look at the first attempts at this height, you'd have to say Kushina was the closest, but Kushina, one more attempt. She's in the gold medal position. Blanka Vasic in silver and Anna Chicharova in bronze. One more attempt each for our three medalists to decide where this World Championship medal is going to go. I mentioned it's Anna Chicharova's fifth World Championship medal. She has a gold, of course, in her locker. Vlasic has three medals from previous championships, two golds in her house back home. Or will it be Kushina, the Russian, the former Youth Olympic champion who picks up a World Championship medal? Anna Chicharova 
Sykes herself up then, her third and final attempt at two metres and three. The bronze medal is hers, but she's already got one of them and she's got a couple of silvers. She's after her second gold. She could secure it if she clears now at two metres and three. Final attempt in the high jump final. Oh, well, that was as good as it was going to get in terms of having a really good effort of clearing the two metres and three. But she's not successful. She stays in the bronze medal position. So Anna Chicharova of Russia, another world championship medal. It'll be a bronze to go in the collection of the Russians world championship medals. Five now in total. But that means that Blanka Vlasic, with her final attempt at two meters and three, has the chance to upgrade her silver to her third world championship gold. It would be a dream of a story with the injuries and the comeback. Has the experienced Croatian got it in the tank to snatch the medal away from Maria Kushina? The rhythmical clapping starts. She won the title in 2007 and she cleared a height of two meters and five for that gold. She won it in 2009, second on the all time list at two meters and eight. But this is all that matters to Blanka Vlasic. This is the time she'd have dreamed about when she was injured. Her final attempt at two meters and three. She has the silver. No, it's not to be for the Croatian. She looks disappointed, but I'm sure on reflection. A clap from the support team. She has tears in her eyes, but Blanka Vlasic had one failure at one meter and 92, three at two meters and three. Maria Kushina has had a clear scorecard all the way up to two meters and three. She has no other failures. Wonderful to see the Croatian back. The gold medal is hers. Russia, they didn't have a medal at all from any women in this championship. They have the gold and she can't go any higher, but it doesn't matter. Russia's first medal for the women. It's a gold one. Maria Kushina of Russia, the world high jump champion, unsuccessful at two meters and three, but a clear scorecard all the way up to two meters and one. A first time clearance at that height means that the Russian is now the world champion. And she did it with a lifetime best performance. You can ask no more. The former youth Olympic champion back in 2010 is now the world outdoor champion. Hugs and kisses all round. But your medalist, Kashina. Vlasic in silver and Chicharova in bronze. It really did live up to what we expected, Peter Matthews. We knew there were only three women in the world over two meters coming in, but that was a super competition and world-class jumping. It certainly was. I, I think the standard and depth was terrific. And of course, Litvinko and Jungfleisch also did 199, personal best for the latter. So once again here, we may not have got too many records at the top, but we've got great standard in depth and we've got fine competition. And that's what we love to see. And that certainly lived up to that. Now well, the stories of all the medalists are different. The up and coming Maria Krishina of Russia, 22 years old, now the world champion. Wonderful to see Blanka Vlasic, four medals now in her world championship history, back from those awful injuries. Many question whether she'd ever return, but she never doubted herself. 
And Anna Chicharova, the mother from Russia, picking up. Yes, I think in some ways that, that's the biggest story of all, isn't it, Vlasic? I think Kuchina and Chicharova would have been odds on to be medalists. But for Vlasic to come back and do 201, I, I really is terrific, as you said, with the, the interrupted preparation for years, really. Well, the female high jumpers making their way around. The selfie sticks are being picked up by Blanka Vlasic. That's some super pictures for somebody, isn't it? Look at that. Which one? Which one, she says. <laughs> That's a picture to keep. And the two Russian athletes doubling the medal tally of their country. Two out of three ain't bad. And nice to see the crowd appreciating all the athletics they've seen at this World Championships. It really has been super. Confirmation of the women's high jump. Goal for Russia, two metres and one, and a personal best for Kashina. Vlasic picks up the silver, and Chicharova from Russia, with the same height, though, of two metres and one, takes the bronze medal.